We've seen how our wonderful egg noodles are made. Now we're onto our master stock. Now the master stock at Red Lantern is around 15 years old. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it continues to live and you've got to keep it alive and keep it fresh. Now this master stock is a traditional recipe. It's a simpler master stock. Now we'll try not to rely too much on our spices, but we want to rely on the meat that we're braising, so that meat imparts flavour back into the stock mm -hmm. and it keeps going. Now I've got some uh, star anise here. Nice, licorice flavoured, aromatic. We've got, do you know what these are? Cinnamon cassia cool. bark? Yeah, cassia, cassia bark. bark, same family as the cinnamon, but I find it more spicy and more flavour, also known as a Saigon cinnamon. And here we have these um, black cardamom. Yeah, check those out, yeah, smell those. Cool. Smell that, Danny. Before. Yep. Inside they have little seeds or little pods. Okay, Hayden. I'm just going to guide you through this today, so I'm going to get you to do it. Cool. All right. So just throw all those lovely spices yeah. into the muslin cloth and just tie it up to a nice bouquet. Beautiful. So we're going to throw that in. So I've got six litres of water here. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to put light soy, around half a litre of that, and I've got dark soy for colour. Cool. Around 150 mils. And just some salt, around two tablespoons of salt. Only? And the spice bag. Perfect. And we're going to bring that to the boil. Okay. And then we're going to let it simmer for half an hour, just so all the flavours can infuse together. Perfect. And they'll be ready for our chicken. So awesome. I'll put that on now. Let's have a look at the stock. Oh, guys, get, oh, your, yeah. oh, get in there, have a smell of that. So that's, that's been simmer away for half an hour. Mm -hmm. So all the flavours and all the spices are infused in there. Have a little taste. Mm -hmm. Grab a spoon each there. It smells wonderful, doesn't it? Yeah. It smells absolutely amazing. Nice colour. It's quite delicate, isn't it? It is. It's so it's subtle. Light. Like it's you subtle. said, it's very, very light. The, uh, the smell of it is a lot more intense than the actual yes. flavour. Now, in Vietnam and China, there's master stocks that are hundreds of years old, passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> it's really... Oh. And once the chefs retire, they then sell their stocks to other restaurants. Wow. Really? <laughs> Yeah, for $50,000, $60,000, incredible. Oh my God. <laughs> so never get rid of your stocks, keep them all the time. So once that's ready to go, we throw the chicken in. Can you put that chicken in? Breast side yep. down. And then we have to weigh it down, just with a, with a plate. Mm -hmm. Just weigh it down like that. So the chicken doesn't float up to the top, so it poaches nice, nice and evenly. evenly. Cool. Now I bring this back to the boil, mm -hmm. and once that boils again, I turn the heat off yep. and just let it poach for an hour with no heat. So you can imagine all the flavours slowly seeping through the meat. Yeah. Gorgeous. And getting that nice tender flesh. Now whilst the chicken is steeping, we'll make our sauces. First, we'll do our noodle sauce. Cool. Just the sauce where we just run through the noodles and make it nice and flavoursome. Bit of hot water there, really simple sauce. Hot water into the bowl. 125 mils of oyster sauce. So the oyster sauce is a little bit salty, it's a little bit sweet. We need to balance it out a little bit with some brown sugar. Throw the sugar in there. Okay. Yep, just gonna mix it about. So there's around two teaspoons of brown sugar in there. Mm -hmm. And once that dissolved, just a couple of teaspoons of nice sesame oil. It smells beautiful. Yep, smell mm. that. Now never overdo your sauces with too much sesame oil. Yeah, Because it is very quite strong and very, 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 very powerful. Now we've done with our very simple noodle sauce. Next we'll do our nuk mam chum. Mm -hmm. which is our dipping sauce for our chicken. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. So throw that in the there. Vinegar, around three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of some really nice fish sauce. Now we need to balance the saltiness out and the tartness out with um, a bit of sweet. Mm -hmm. Instead of using sugar, yeah. using I've got young water. coconut water. That's awesome. Yeah. I love coconut great. water. Mm. It's naturally sweet. Yeah. It's delicious. How so much around a use? cup of that, just kind yeah. of... And that was three tablespoons of fish sauce, 125 mils of the young coconut water. Now, let's mix that up and have a little taste. Okay. okay. And see what you guys think. Oh, watch your hand. Let me have a little taste as well. Is it a bit salty? Yeah, it is quite salty. Mm. So now that it's a bit salty, what cuts through that is fresh lime. So one whole, whole lime or half a lime. Perfect. Wow. Yum. Some garlic, just diced garlic, two cloves, some fresh chilli, as much or as little as you like. I like a lot. What about you guys? Yeah. yeah I like a lot. Good. <laughs> Mix that up. That's lovely. That's perfect, guys. Well done. Mm. So that's our little dipping nice. sauce for our mustard stock chicken. Cool. Beautiful. Right. Now we've made our noodle sauce. We've got our dipping sauce. Now we'll get back to the preparation of our mustard stock chicken. Cool. All right? Now the chicken's ready, guys. But before we get to the chicken, we have to prepare our basting liquid. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now for that, I'm going to bring to the boil, just a slight boil or the simmer, some white vinegar. Throw that in for me, Danny. 
So we've got 125 ml of white vinegar in there. We need a tablespoon of maltose. Throw that in there and it needs to dissolve. Yeah. Now I use maltose because each sugar has a has different levels of um, burning points and boiling points and maltose has a, a very high level. So Is once that okay? that's dissolved, yeah, that's okay. Mix that through. That's looking really good. Perfect. Now we don't want it to boil. Okay. We just want it to let it simmer mm -hmm. whilst we baste our chicken. Cool. All right, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit and we'll grab our chicken out awesome. of our master stock. Yeah. All right. Up next. I'm going to play that up now. That. Delicious. That just looks divine. Luke's crispy, mouth-watering master stock chicken is served. I love um, it. It's so great. nice. I'm so I'm happy. Like <laughs>Today we're cooking my, one of my favourite dishes at Red Lantern, the Master Stop Chicken with fresh egg noodles. Now we've seen how we make egg noodles. We've done our noodle sauce. You've made our Nuk Mum Jum dipping sauce. Now the chicken's been steeping in this beautiful Master Stock for an hour now. It's ready to go. The next step now is to baste it and coat it with our nice vinegar and maltose mix. Cool. So Hayden, would you be able to come over and do that Definitely. for me? Just hook it up there. Uh-huh. Just up in the backbone. So and try your best not to damage the skin the too skin much. Yet. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Is it hot? No, it's not hot. Okay. There, there we go. go. Beautiful. Okay. I'll pass it over to you, Hayden. Yep. Mm -hmm. Onto that. Yep. And then you want to coat all of the skin with this lovely liquid there. Okay. So just a white it on. vinegar and maltose. Yep. So be really generous. Just coat it. Yep. Now what this will do is create this gorgeous colour when we coat it with some hot oil later on. Now the next step after this, Danny, is we need to hang the chicken to dry so the skin's completely dry. Now that might take an hour to two hours. If you've got a nice little desk fan, yeah. blow it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Get the fan to blow on the skin so it's completely dry because the next step is coating it with really hot oil so the skin puffs up and it's nice and golden brown and crispy. Good. Yeah. Awesome. But it needs to be dry. Yeah. Yep. So if you can hang it over there, We've got our van over there. Hey. Okay. It's a cute little setup. Yeah, isn't it? yeah it's cool. <laughs> now the chicken's been drying in front of the fan there for an hour. Danny, can you just poke it and touch the skin, see if it's nice and dry to touch? Yep. Yeah, completely feels, dry? Yeah, it feels awesome. really dry. If you can just unhook it for me. Hayden? Yep. Chop that chicken in half. Chop the chicken in half. Alrighty. It's down the backbone there. Okay. No worries. You're a lefty, Hayden. Left-handed. The creative people are with their left hand. Is that right? Yeah. Apparently. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Very nice. Cool. Okay, so he passes nice. that ladle. Little spider. You throw a little... Throw half the chicken on there. Yep. And we've got vegetable oil here, just a neutral oil. Mm -hmm. It's quite hot at the moment, around yep. 200 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Just grab a ladle. And I don't want to deep fry the chicken, because I want it to be nice and still yeah. succulent. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to coat the skin with the oil Beautiful. until it's nice and crispy. Oh, yeah. Look at that colour! So this takes a bit of time, but it's well worth the wait. Look at the colour coming That's up. Awesome. You can see the maltose coming up now. Yeah. Nice brown, golden colour. Oh, that looks delicious. I know you love cooking chicken over hot oil. <laughs> so you want to come over and do it? Sure. Hold that. Try not to burn myself. Now see how it's getting nice and crispy now. Don't burn yourself. So just Jenny. keep doing that for a couple of minutes until you're happy with the texture. Okay. So that colour's looking fantastic now, Danny. I think it's almost done. So nice golden brown colour. Mm -hmm. Crispy to touch. I think that's wonderful. Let's drain the oil over there. We don't want it to be too oily. We'll get our fresh egg noodles we made this morning. Beautiful, Beautiful. aren't they? Now I'm going to take those out and I'm just going to separate them. Mm -hmm. Just onto the board there so they don't clunk together or stick together. Wonderful. Spider ladle. Boiling water. The water has to be boiling rapidly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw it in there for no more than 20 seconds, okay? So, just like that. All right. Once that finishes there, straight into the ice water. So stop the cooking process. Yep. So it's nice and firm. Yep. Nice. They look good. Look at that. And look at the colour of it. Back into the hot water, just to warm it through, just for another second. Yep. Refresh it. Drain all the water off. And then into our bowl. Beautiful. Now, our noodle sauce we had earlier. Spoon yep. of that. Mm. 
Now, Danny, throw in a bit of uh, garlic chives in for me, just a little handful. Some spring onion. Yep. We're going to plate that up. That's good. Mm. That's our little bed of egg noodles there. Beautiful. And Danny, mm -hmm. that chicken's ready to be chopped. I'm going to place that over here. And you want to grab that chicken okay. and a cleaver and chop that up. Well chopped, Danny. <laughs> I'm going to plate that up now. That. Delicious. Yeah. That just looks divine. Now just the finishing garnish. A bit of watercress on the top. Gorgeous. Lovely. And I'm going to drizzle a bit of that gorgeous mum jump dipping sauce we made earlier. Mm -hmm. Just over the top. And we also save a little for dipping sauce as well. And there it is, guys. Our slow braised chicken in the master stock with fresh egg noodles. Ga yong, mi kol. Awesome. I suppose you want to try this <laughs> yes, now, right? Definitely. <laughs> Let's get stuck into it then. Okay. You know what? Don't worry about your chopsticks. Do it the Vietnamese way. Just use your hands, okay. guys. Yeah, I'm grab happy a piece. with that. Let's go. It looks so good. Mmm. that. It's succulent bit. Mmm. Mm. What are you tasting, guys? What do you think? It's magical. Yeah? It's beautiful. Mm. It's That skin is really crispy. The meat is really juicy. You can taste the flavour of the really, master stock. You can really taste the master stock flavour and that chicken is mm. so moist. and Succulent, isn't it? Yep. That's the Succulent. idea. Different textures, lots of delicate flavours. It is, it's delicate. I love um, it. It's so great. nice, I'm so and happy. Like you, <laughs> even like you said, you know, when you eat, get a bit of chicken, it's on the bone, it's a bit fiddly, but it just gives it that extra bit of flavour. Absolutely. It's beautiful. You need to have it on the bone. Yeah. Now, Danny and Hayden, my top three tips for this wonderful dish is make sure the egg noodles are wonderfully fresh. Yep. Never over blanch them. Nice, textural and al dente. The master stock, it has to be developed. Mm -hmm. Never throw it away. Yeah. Yep. Skim it, strain it, yep. cool it and freeze it and use it again. Definitely. Yep. And the skin of the chicken needs to be dry before you coat it in hot oil or else it won't stay crispy and it won't be that beautiful golden colour. It's been so awesome sharing my Vietnamese cuisine and cooking with you guys. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very I'll much. I'll be watching you every night. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you. both of you can win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Danny. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you, mate. Thank you,